Welcome back to Adventures of Autism. So, this week, we're not going away this weekend, we're staying, we're staying at home. Um, so what I thought to talk to you about is the smart home and how we use it and how it helps with Robert. So at Grandma's house, at my mum's house, they use Alexa. Alexa, and at our house, we use Google. I started out here in the front garden. Um, we've done a lot of work recently on the front garden. We've got a video coming up about that. Um, but I've started out here because I wanted to first off talk about security. So obviously security is big in our minds and keeping an eye on our house is it's a big worry for a lot of people. So in our house, we use a couple of cameras. We use all the Google Nest cameras. So I've got a couple of cameras outside to begin with. First off, and if you can see behind me, we have the Google Nest outdoor camera. So that one we use and it looks out over the front garden. It keeps an eye on the street, the comings and goings. Um, really good quality. Um, it gives me good motion notifications, people notifications. And it also, the big thing, it helps us keep an eye on the kids if they're playing in the front garden with all this new equipment we've just got. Uh, it means I can always keep an eye on them from wherever I am. So if grandma's around and they're playing in the garden, I can log in and look at that remotely from wherever I am. So the next thing we're gonna look at is our front doorbell. So if I come along here, so on our front door, we use this, it's the Google Nest Hello. And again, similar thing to the Nest outdoor camera there. It's a full Wi-Fi enabled camera run by Nest and I can log in and see that whenever I want. The advantage you get with that one is it's also a smart doorbell. So anytime anyone presses the doorbell, I get a notification, I know who's there. So again, I can always see who's coming and going in the house to help me keep my house secure. You may have noticed I have just up there, there is a smart floodlight as well. So we use Philips Hue in this house and I'll go into that in just a little bit. Here we are in the front room and I'm sat here today because I wanted to look at this. This is the Nest Hub Max. Now we have three of these in the house along with a few other Google speakers. And this is basically the nexus of our smart home. It lets us control my smart home. I can see all of the cameras. I can control all of the lights. So for example, hey Google, show me the front garden. Sure, streaming front garden. Eventually, it gives me a live feed of the front garden. And I can see that from any display in the house or on my phone or my iPad or the computer from anywhere in the world that I have internet access. So I'm in the kids room now and I've come in here to talk about the lights. So throughout our house, we use mainly Philips Hue smart lights. Every single light in this house is a smart light. What that allows me to do, I can control it with my phone. I can control it with my voice. I can control it remotely from wherever I am in the world. So in the kids room, we have lovely Ikea fitting here. There are three colored bulbs in there and you can see there is a light strip running around the edge of their room. What this allows us to do, instead of having to have a separate night light, I can have these, they pretty much stay on permanently, at a really low, bright colour. So what that means is, even in the middle of the night, there's a little bit of light in the room, it feels secure, it looks good, it's colourful, and it's great. And again, I can control it with my voice. Hey Google, lights to bright white. And you can see they change, and the kids can control that too, it's fantastic. What's the main thing we have in this house that we control with our voice? The lights and like TVs. Here, this is Google right here. So that's a Nest Hub Max. Yeah, that's a Nest Hub Max. <laughs> so as you look at it, what's it showing at the moment? So it's like showing like this. If you keep scrolling, it'll show you different pictures. But if you scroll this way, show you all of this every single one I, I didn't realize I could do that I didn't realize so so what's on there so it's like the lights and temperature the uh, what's this oh uh, <laughs> we can see ourselves in there. Yeah, so the Nest Hub Max has got a camera in it. So, we're sat at my desk now, 
And the last thing I wanted just to talk about quickly is the thermostat just up here. So we have the Nest thermostat, again, another Google product. So what this allows us to do is control our heating remotely. I can control it from wherever I am in the world, whether it's turning the temperature up, down. I can set it so that when I leave the house, it automatically turns the heating off, so I'm not wasting electricity. And again, if the kids are in and my grandma's in, if it gets too cold, they can either use their voice to control the heating or I can use the heating from wherever I am. So, I just wanted to wrap up this video by just doing a brief overview of the smart home and why we use it. So, myself, I am very much into technology, but more than that, we found that using a smart home has been fantastic for the kids. It allows them to control the environment they live in, and for Robert, that's a must. Robert needs to be able to control his environment, otherwise, he gets really flustered. So having that smart home, it means that I can allow him to control his lights, to control his TV, to control everything around him, just how he sees fit. And he can do that in a safe and responsible way. But it also allows me is the oversight. So if he does do something, I can see what's happened. And if something doesn't happen right or something goes wrong, I can fix it. And that works throughout the house, not just in his room, whether it's the lighting, the heating, the music, the video, the cameras, that ability from his Nest Hub Max to be able to call us whenever he likes from his display has been a game changer. It means that we can allow him his independence whilst being able to keep an eye on him. And for him, that's essential. We've also started upgrading Grandma's house. He does spend some time around there. So in our house, we've gone down the Google route. Every single device in our house or every smart speaker is a Google speaker, whether it's the Nest Mini, the Nest Audio, the Nest Hub, the Nest Hub Max, whatever. Along with the cameras and the heating, they are Nest as well. Whereas with Grandma, we've gone down the Amazon route. So for particularly of people who aren't quite as tech savvy as myself, Alexa provides a really good solution. I think it's a little bit more friendly than Google, maybe a bit more consumer friendly than Google can be occasionally. So she does like Alexa and she has Alexa in most of the rooms in her house and we are gradually starting to change out her lights for Alexa. Robert in his room, he has a little Echo Spot, which again allows him to see video on it, make video calls. Uh, we've also added some cameras to her house. So we have the ring doorbell. We have the hive heating. So she gets that same control that we do in our house. I would really recommend having a smart home in this day and age. Obviously, you do need good internet and it can be quite an investment. It's taken me five or six years to get to the point where I'm at now. But as a starting point, I would look at maybe one of the cheaper Google speakers or an Echo Dot and then build up your smart home from there. So... Next time, we're going another trip to Alton Towers, so there'll be another video coming out after this one on that, and I hope to see you soon.